going to the West Cucamonga Truck Trail here in Rancho Cucamonga. Gonna be riding, seeing how this place looks like. Cause I tried the other entrance and from the signs it looks like it's closed due to the fire. So I'm gonna try going up this direction. See if it's okay for me to go up from here. And I'm going up this really steep place. Oh, that's badass. It's Friday. Had a little bit of time today in between seeing my clients for work and thought I'd squeeze a ride in. I've actually had to park at Heritage Park because that's what Trail Forks and MTB projects recommend that I do. Because if I park in one of these residential areas, I might get a fine for not having a permit to park on the streets. This is a really nice neighborhood. Maybe they're a minimum of a million and five hundred because they're way up in the mountains and they look pretty nice. So I am at the end of this road right here that I just came up from. And now I'm going to try the entrance of West Cucamonga Truck Trail. So it looks like we start from here as one of the roads. I checked out two other entrances, but it looked like it was either closed due to the fire or private property. So I'm going to try this side. And hopefully I go the right way. <laughs> so I did go to the left from that divide that we just entered from. And according to Trail Forks, it's called, this one is called Angles and Thorpes Trail or something like that. So I'm going to try this way and see how it goes. Interesting path. Uh, sounds like it's going to be steep. Okay, this part is impossible to ride. Wow. I have a feeling that this is going to be a fire road. Let me check. Oh yeah, looks like it. Interesting. I'm conflicted with which way I want to go. Since I chose left, I'm going to go this way. But yeah, it's good that sometimes I get a quick ride in. Especially since I can't control some of my schedules here and there. But it's all good. I'm partially working today, but I'll be back after this ride to work again. But yeah, there's lots of foliage here and a bit of a stream there. There's nobody here. It's not really a popular trail at all, so I thought I'd try it out and see if I would recommend this to anybody. And it's worth a try, right? If you don't try, then how are you going to find out? Yes, yes, yes. And, uh, up. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Looks like that side's private property. We just came up from that. It looks like I continued there. Man, this is one steep fire road. Didn't expect it to be this steep, but it's okay. Still doing it. Oh yeah, still going up this steep fire road here. That section, it's nothing like it. I think that's the pathway I need to go. But I have to look at my maps. Even though I got my Garmin navigation system, I haven't had a chance to use it yet. So I'm gonna have to learn how to put it on. Okay, so according to MTB projects, if I want to continue on the Kukumongo Road East, I go that way. And if I want to continue West, I go that route. So I'm gonna go this way, but I do see some type of sign there. So it may be closed but I'll find out for sure. Let's go check it out. Ooh, a little bit of a stream. Oh, 
Never mind, this is private property. Should I trespass? No, it's not worth the risk. I'm going back. But first, let me take a selfie. So yeah, we're going back because there's a private property sign right there. No trespassing sign, so stay on the safe side and go back. Back into the stream. Oh, oh. Today wasn't a good day to find a good trail, but hey, whatever. It's just part of life. Not everything's going to be always good on a, every single day. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go this way instead and see what it's like. But at least I'm getting a good workout in. So what if it wasn't a pristine trail that I've been to? So what if it's not super technical? I like any kind of trail as long as I get a cardiovascular benefit out of it. And it is in between my work, so just thought I'd do a quick ride. I've always been curious about riding mountain bikes in around the Rancho Cucamonga slash upland area. But one thing's for sure, that's a very nice view right there. In person, you just feel like an ant. Like everything is infinite with seeing all these big mountains surrounding you. And I just love that feeling. So I did spot a small little section of a down so I'm gonna try it. Yes. Bit sandy though. Whee. Okay. Eh, it's okay. I've seen better, but I'm still going down it. Oh, very short, but it was okay. When you're in a very unfamiliar trail that there's nobody over here, what can you expect? That's just how it became. But I'm getting a good cardio workout, as I mentioned, and I really like that. Well, it looks like I made it to a little bit at the top of this trail but I'm still riding it and it's taking forever. But it's all good. Enjoying the moment. Yes. Good feeling to be down. A little bit sandy though. So yeah, I'm gonna go down the Cucamonga access road. It's about to be sundown right now. So I gotta go back soon. Whee! super loose here so I can't go that fast I wish I could but it's don't want to slide out that's a pretty decent um, climb up to this I definitely I'm not gonna come back here <laughs> to be quite honest I mean maybe for a quick ride here and there but just to have a lot of fun uh, with friends and just for a thrill, I don't think this is a trail for it. Okay, let's go down. Super loose here, wow. Woohoo, yeah. Yeah, ho ho ho. And it's starting to get really chilly. Yes. Can't risk sliding out here. Again, I'm not coming back here. <laughs> it's not that fun, to be quite honest. But you get to see all of Rancho Cucamonga. That's a good sign. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Really loose here. Okay, starting to get even more loose. Still lots of loose rocks everywhere. Ooh, 
That's good. Bunny hop. Yes. <laughs> That's a nice home right there. Just looks like a place where you can host a party or get married at. I highly doubt anybody lives there at the moment. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll get a house like that one day, who knows. Just wanted to check out a certain part of the trail that's not technically part of the trail, but it's on the side of it. Well, you can show off all your art right here. Looks beautiful. And of course, Gotta take a selfie. Man, looks like a good place for a photo shoot. And I don't know what the hell this means. Let me try to read it. I think that says mucking, mucking warp, whatever that means. I can't read it, but hey, it's beautiful. Okay, to whoever this person's name is that they put their name on, you're no man, you're just a boy. So you gotta man up, whoever you are. Okay, so I had a little bit of fun being next to this na nature art gallery here. This is where you get a real museum experience, being out in nature. Any artists, show off your work there. Man, the sun is really getting down. It's gonna get really dark. All downhill from here. Woohoo! Yeah! Still going down. Ooh, that was good. Maybe I might come here again for a quick ride if possible what the heck there's a dead rat there <laughs> yes we're back into this very secluded very beautiful rancho cucamonga neighborhood here that's way too expensive it's kind of reminds me of marshall canyon in laverne where you at the very end of the ride you pass by through all these nice suburban like homes yeah Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Yeah, bombing through this very steep road that I just went uphill from earlier today. Yeah, sick trip there. Yeah, it's a pretty nice trail over here. Yeah. Let's see, we run back to Heritage Park. That was a good run.